famed as a cunning escape artist, Asia's most wanted fugitive can't be left on the run for very much longer. Police prepare to move in. As the clock ticks down to action, tension is running high. And that morning, early morning, we conducted a du'a, a prayers, before moving in. By 7 a.m., the police and the special forces are in place, waiting just outside the village. I personally hope that this operation doesn't have any casualties. No one will be injured. No bullets will be fired. Quietly, exercising maximum caution, the unit edges closer to Mas Salamat's hideout. It is essential not to alarm the fugitive jihadist. Mission leaders fear that he may detonate a suicide bomb. These people are willing to die, whereas we are afraid to die. They only need one lucky chance. We must be lucky all the time. So we moved in at 7 a.m. On the 1st of April 2009, the Special Forces Unit, disguised as civilians, moves in on Southeast Asia's most wanted man, Masalamid Kastari. The dramatic sequence of events that follows is captured on police video, which has never been shown on television before. The moment that the special forces members went in, I still have the fear that anything may happen. And uh, it happened so fast because the element of surprise is there. The capture of Masalamat is all over in a few intense minutes. They came out, the commander of the unit shouted at me, Secure! And then, the police come face to face with the notorious terrorist for the first time. For the Malaysian police, the arrest of Masalamat Kastari without loss of life, 11 months after his escape, is a triumph and a relief. I arrested him, handcuffed him, and read his rights, and he was keeping quiet, occasionally mentioning, you know everything, sir, you know everything, sir. They're trained to become, and uh, the standard answer is uh, always the same. You know everything, you don't have to ask me, you have done your homework. The Royal Malaysian Police Special Forces search the house for other occupants and explosives. They find nothing. That morning, Masalamat was alone. The police seized documents that might contain clues about planned future operations. Masalamat's neighbors are astonished to discover they have been living next door to such a notorious fugitive. Tak kenal saya. Apa bila dia kena rah kena tangkap juga bila pada rumah tu, dia cakap dengan polis tu lah inspektor tu. Siapa ni? Mak selamat tu dia. Ha, itu saya beranjak dengar. The successful capture of Asia's most wanted fugitive, who has been on the run for 11 months, is soon headline news across Southeast Asia. There's been a major arrest in Malaysia today. A suspected leader of a Singapore radical Islamist group linked to the 2002 Bali bombings is now behind bars. He was planning uh, uh, um, something which uh, uh, allows us to uh, arrest him. In September 2010, after 15 months in Malaysian custody, the Malaysian authorities decide to return Masalama to Singapore. He's not a Malaysian. He's a Singaporean. He's a Singapore citizen. Then he's, uh, he's still under the wanted list of our Singapore counterpart. I think lastly, our investigation uh, on him is almost complete. So no point uh, we keep him further. 
Today, Masalamat Kastari is back behind bars at Whitley Road Detention Center. He is once again held under Singapore's Internal Security Act.